Sabbath and welcome to our Sabbath School uh, discussion. Uh, we have been uh, uh, discussing our, our Sabbath School for this quarter on making friends for God. And today we are on Lesson 7 on sharing the Word of God. Here with me to uh, help in the sharing of our lesson uh, today, we have Daniel uh, Taufanga mm -hmm. and we have Zoya uh, Rokotuni mm -hmm. and uh, Tala Tala Joe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we welcome you for the Sabbath School lesson. And for those that uh, have their Sabbath School uh, lessons uh, booklet, um, that's very good. But if you don't have one, you can easily uh, go down to uh, go to a Play Store and download, uh, download the app on the Adult Sabbath School Guide. And there you can uh, uh, access the Sabbath School lesson. So uh, before we go into our, our sharing of our uh, Sabbath School lesson, uh, it is only appropriate that we start with a word of prayer. And uh, we ask uh, Tala Tala Joe uh, to please offer a word of prayer. Let us pray. Our loving Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, as we study your word this day, we ask you, Lord, that you will help us to understand your word. Help us to see its beauty through the beauty of the Holy Spirit. Help us to not only hear, but be doers of your word. May you bless your word to us this day. This is our prayer in your name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Now our topic uh, for Lesson 7 is sharing the Word. And when we're talking about sharing the Word, we're actually talking about sharing the Word of God. Mm. Okay? And we, when we're talking about witnessing, who are we witnessing? We're witnessing about Jesus. Mm. Okay? And when we're talking about witness, witnessing about Jesus, where do we get all the information relating to Jesus? Yeah? Mm. And obviously, it would have to come from the Bible, sure. yeah? And also, uh, yeah. we can know about Jesus when we look to nature, yeah? It reveals his majesty, yeah, and power of God. But when it comes to the plan of salvation, nature doesn't reveal that. Mm -hmm. Again, we come to the word of God in the Bible, mm -hmm. yeah? And also, in terms of we have our religious leaders, they also share the word of God, yeah? They also study the word of God. And obviously, Jesus uh, talked about uh, and addressed these leaders uh, when we look at John chapter 5, verse 39. Mm -hmm. yeah? And he mm -hmm. said, you search the scriptures, mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. for in them you think you would have mm -hmm. the eternal life. And these are they which, what? which testify of me, mm -hmm. which is about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing uh, about uh, the word of God that everything is in the, in the Bible. And so as we study this lesson, we would like to go in and see what, are the word of, what is the Word of God saying uh, about uh, His Word in the Bible. And we look into the symbols that are used, you know, in the Bible to represent or to talk about the Word of God. Um, Tautala. Perhaps you can uh, uh, share with us what are kind of symbols that are used in the Bible to represent the Word of God. Thank you, madam. Yes. Psalms 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So God's word is a light. Yeah. And you know the importance of light when there is darkness. Mm. So we wouldn't know where to go during the night if mm -hmm. there was no light. Mm -hmm. So praise God Amen. for his word. It's according to this verse. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Amen. So apart from uh, um, the word of God as uh, being symbolized as a light, is there any other symbol? Jeremiah 23, 29. It's not my word like a fire. Mm -hmm. says the Lord so the word too is a fire mm -hmm. the word as we know this world was created by the word but the word does not only create but it also can destroy mm -hmm. I was thinking of mm -hmm. sin in our lives mm -hmm. it changes the way we live mm -hmm. what we do what we see 
praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. We need that. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. we want to change, mm -hmm. but we don't have that power to change, mm -hmm. to destroy the evil within us. Yeah. But praise God for the word. Mm -hmm. It's a fire that will consume and destroy yeah. for the good yeah. to give us mm -hmm. a new life. Mm. So, so we have the, 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 the word of God represented by the symbol of light mm. and fire. fire. Mm. And what other symbols are there, Zoya? Thank you, Mrs. Polovola. Uh, just adding on to the verse that Tal Tal had highlighted, which is from Jeremiah 23, 29. The second part says, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Mm. So we can say the word, um, I mean, we, we all know what, uh, a hammer does. We all we've all used a hammer. Eh? <laughs> it uh, destroys, but also um, practically, if we want to nail something into something concrete, you know, you need to hammer that thing mm -hmm. as it can yeah. pierce mm -hmm. through that solid uh, mm -hmm. uh, surface. Eh? So that's what the word of God does. Eh? It pierces okay. through our maybe we can say our nature of being mm -hmm. self-centered or the pride that we have. So that's what the mm -hmm. uh, the word of God does as well in in our lives. Eh? So it can put something together, and we can. Really the body as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Get right deep inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So apart from Hema, what, what other symbol is there? Uh, if we look at Luke chapter 8 verse 11, it talks about um, Jesus highlighted in uh, Luke 8 11. It says, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah, so God uh, relates uh, the word of God to a seed, eh? mm -hmm. like uh, to a seed. So we know uh, before, we, before we plant or we prepare to plant a seed, you yeah. know, we prepare the soil and everything that needs to be done so that the soil can be, can be, what's this? Planted, eh? Yeah. Planted into that soil. Yeah. But once the seed is planted, uh, we need to tend to that seed, eh? Mm -hmm. It needs mm -hmm. sunlight, yes. it needs water, water. Eh? Yes. and maybe fertilizer to help mm -hmm. it give mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. product that yes. we need, eh? Yeah. So just like the seed, which it gives life mm -hmm. out of that small thing, right. eh? The word is also the same thing. Eh? It, mm. it gives us life yes, as well. Oh, in that seed, eh? yes. From the small seed, a very big tree. Yes. And then Zoya, I think about it, as it gives fruit. Yes. The word exactly. of God is, yeah. it will bear fruit, eh? good fruit. Mm. Eh? Yes. 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 And then, mm. uh, of course, mm. uh, then, mm. uh, is there any other symbol uh, relating to the word of God? Yeah. Uh, I think the fifth one um, is based on... Um, taken from the book of Matthew, eh? mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, But he answered and said, It is written, Men shall not live by bread alone, mm -hmm. but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Yeah. Uh, but I like, I like John, um, John 6, uh, 35. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread, bread of life. life. Yeah. I am the bread of life. He yeah. that cometh to me shall never hunger, yeah. and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. So you know, you know, uh, how good is a nourishing bread? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and especially when someone is hungry, mm -hmm. um, it satisfies that hunger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it says a nourishing bread. Mm -hmm. So not only it satisfies that hunger, but it yeah. provides uh, um, the necessary, mm -hmm. uh, what would you say, nutrients uh, to build up that body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Life. Yeah. To give mm -hmm. it life. life. Yeah. That's right. So mm -hmm. it's uh, quite amazing how how the Bible, you know. Uh, portrays the word of God mm -hmm. highlights. Mm -hmm. okay? It is a light, it is fire, oh, yeah. it is hammer, it is like a seed. seed. Mm -hmm. And above all, bread. Food. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, like the word of God says, man shall not live by mm -hmm. bread alone, mm -hmm. but what? Mm -hmm. But by every word that proceedeth out from the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. And so uh, how do you see all these symbols, you know, coming together and, and portraying or uh, showing uh, the characteristics of the Word of God? Um, just by looking at these symbols, uh, we can see that uh, it, it shows us, or it tells us, or it reveals to us how the primary function that the Word plays mm -hmm. when we share it. Eh? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we share the Word of God, we want to yeah. do the transforming, we want to do the changing. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when we look at the symbols, it does all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, 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 it brings out a very important point, mm -hmm. is that when we share the Word of God, it is not because you know everything no. and that you, and you are right. Mm -hmm. And whoever you are sharing the word of God mm -hmm. is wrong. You know, mm -hmm. the whole purpose of sharing the word of God is to bring out, yes. you know, uh, those uh, important uh, uh, truths about the word of God mm -hmm. 
which really is about who? Mm. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, and when we share the word of God, it's all about Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Now, we move on to, let's see what this word of God does. We've seen the symbol relating to the word of God. But what does this mm. word of God, what does it have? Okay, and when we're looking at our lesson, it looks in today to, it talks about the creative power of mm. God's word. Yeah. This is an amazing thing. And mm. just before we go to that, mm. you know, just looking at the symbols, mm -mm. you know, the Bible uses um, symbols that people could relate to, mm -hmm. yes, you know, really. and yes, it really. doesn't change in characteristics. Mm -hmm. yes, really. It's still the same. What the mm -hmm. fire does, it does. Yes, what the hammer does, yes, what the seed does. Mm -hmm. yes, really. So, you know, it tells us as well that the word of God does not change. Mm -hmm. That's right. It stands. Yeah. It stands. Yeah. Yeah. It's purpose. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know, uh, you know, to, to, to illustrate this creative power, you know, there's power mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. word of God. Mm -hmm. Let's see where in the Bible can we see this creative power put into demonstration. Mm -hmm. Zoya. Okay, if we look at uh, Genesis chapter 1, mm -hmm. uh, it talks mm -hmm. about the creation. Eh? Mm -hmm. And if uh, we look at a few verses, mm -hmm. uh, like from verse, verse 3, 6, 9, you go on it, eh, till mm -hmm. 11, down mm -hmm. to 26, 27, God was using this uh, particular phrase eh, where mm -hmm. he was saying, let there be, and then... It was, you know, it yeah. came. Eh? Mm -hmm. So he said, let there be light, and then light came. Eh? Just like uh, if you go down, that's the same thing that he was, um, he mentioned. Eh? And just like when he came to creating men, mm -hmm. eh? let us make men in our own image. Mm -hmm. eh? So he was using that particular phrase during uh, creation, eh? which, which actually happened when yeah. he mentioned it. Eh? So what the creation story says is that when God spoke, it came into being. being. So, which means to say, there is power in his <coughs> word alone. You know, there was no design in there. He spoke and it, it came happened. into being. Mm -hmm. It's just to, to, to show and demonstrate the amazing power mm -hmm. in God's word. Yes. Right. Tala, yeah. Apart from, you know, that amazing power in God's word that he can create, what else uh, can you say or share Relating to the power of God's word. Hebrews 1. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whom he has appointed here, that's verse 2, of all things, to whom also he made the worlds. Mm -hmm. Who being the brightness of his glory and express image of his son, and upholding all things by the word of his power. Mm -hmm. Upholding mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. all things by the word of his power. And also in uh, Psalms 33, 6 to 9, by the word of the Lord, heavens were made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Verse 8, let all the earth fear the Lord, and all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was done. Mm -hmm. He commanded. Right from that time, man, mm -hmm. still stood fast. Yeah. <laughs> the mm -hmm. mountains are still there. Mm -hmm. So it's being mm -hmm. sustained. The power, yeah. the power of his word is sustained, yes. Mm -hmm. So we can see he has that uh, a creative sustained power. And, uphold, yeah. yes. and then it's sustained That's and right. it's being upheld. Mm -hmm. right. It's just amazing to, to, right. to know that. Yeah? Right. And, and then, what are the uh, 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 creative power that we can see in the word of God? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, that, that, that power does not change. Mm -hmm. um, it still exists. Well, it existed before creation, mm -hmm. as Zoe mm -hmm. mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, God used, well, he was the word, spoke, and things yeah. came to being. Yeah. Yeah. And that same power is still present with us. Mm -hmm. When we read the word of God, mm -hmm. when we share it, mm -hmm. it's the same power. Mm -hmm. The word is still there. Yeah. Um, John 1, John chapter 1, verse 1, it says, In yeah. the beginning, was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Uh, the f verse 14 as well, it says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, mm -hmm. and we behold His glory, and the glory of the, of the only begotten of the Father, full mm -hmm. of grace and truth. It is the same Word eh, that was used then. And there was a, a Hebrew word that was um, uh, used as well. Bara. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And according to our uh, Sabbath school lesson, it says, it is the word bara. Mm. In this particular form, it is used of God's activity to create something from, from nothing. nothing. Yes. Yeah? The verb is used only when God is the subject. Mm. So mm. when God is the subject, it's, you know, we only use it then. Yeah. 
because no one else can speak something yeah, and, and, and from nothing from nothing from nothing, yeah. Yeah, from nothing to something yes. Yes. Yeah. so again if we look at Hebrew, uh, hebrews 13:18 uh, it says mm. jesus christ is the same then yeah. now yeah. and forevermore yeah. Yeah. yeah so he does not change yeah. so the power of the word as well remains yeah. 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 so god spoke and mm. it was mm. okay so uh, how can we grasp how, what does this mean? Um, it basically means the, the magnitude of the power of God's word that it has. Eh? Mm -mm. Um, like as he spoke, it happened. Eh? So just like us, uh, when we study God's word, if he mentions that this will happen, it will happen. Yeah. Yeah? Not only now, even in the future. If he says this will happen in the future, that will happen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Tautala, what does this amazing reality tell us about this power? I mean, as we see nature, mm -hmm. that was created from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Man, this is a powerful God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's just the power of His Word. Yeah. He does not use His hand, just His Word. Just his word. And amazingly, it's from nothing that this thing mm -hmm. comes into mm -hmm. existence. And they are still here. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Praise Amen. The and, and then, why should this truth about God's creative power be comforting to us? You know, the... The, the word power itself, mm -hmm. you know, if it existed then, mm -hmm. still exists today, mm -hmm. it's, it's comforting enough to know then. that that same power, yeah. it hasn't been watered down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still the That's same it. then, it's still the same now. Yeah. So if we, uh, you know, uh, read the word of God, yeah. uh, meditate upon it, of course, that same power is still there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. And, and, and Taltala. If you were to, you know, provide a concluding remark relating to the mm. creative power of God, what would it be? Sometimes as we see nature, yeah. we see the power of nature, we have that fear. Mm -hmm. But we feel that rest of peace inside because it's a God, our loving God. Mm -hmm. Even with the dangers around us, mm -hmm. that power is able to protect us. And we can and trust ourselves. Yes, yeah. yes. And also as I think of power, to create the world. Mm -hmm. I praise God. It also tells us that His power, His Word, yeah. can recreate us. Amen. That's what we need. Amen. That new life, that Amen. good life. Amen. That power of this Word can recreate you mm -hmm. and me. Amen. Today, praise the Lord. We're talking about, you know, recreating. Yeah. Uh, recreating you. Yeah. And we move on to, to see the benefits of studying God's mm -hmm. Word. You know? Mm. If the word of God can, you know, recreate. Okay, yes. let's just see some of these yes. benefits. Mm. Yes. Yeah, let's see, let's see yes. some of these benefits. Yes. And there are multiple benefits. Yes. Yeah, mm. Zoya, can you let us know what are some of these benefits of uh, of uh, studying uh, the uh, God's word? Okay, in Second uh, Peter chapter mm -hmm. one verse four, it reads, "By which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature." having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Mm -hmm. So one of the benefits that uh, we can say from studying God's word is that we, we are part of his divine nature, mm -hmm. of God's uh, nature, mm -hmm. which helps us during, during the times we are living in, mm -hmm. in our everyday living, especially mm -hmm. in our spiritual life or mm -hmm. walk with him. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, Tautala, what are the benefits uh, apart from the one that uh, Zoe has mentioned? James 1, 21. Therefore lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word. If we receive this word with meekness, mm -hmm. to be implanted in our hearts or in our mind, it is able, which is able to save your soul. Amen. So in, in terms of you know, taking in the Word of God, studying in the Word of God, it will be able to save you. Yes. Mm -hmm. How will it be able to save you? It takes away all those uh, various types of sins right. that you did mention. Right. You know, it in the changes us, the way yes. we think, yeah. yeah. The way we do things, yes. Right. And then, what are the other benefits mm -hmm. are there? Yeah, if we look at uh, Second uh, Corinthians, mm -hmm. Second Corinthians uh, 5, Oh, sorry, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 3, verse chapter 3, uh, verse 18. Mm -hmm. And it says, But we all, with open face, beholding, as in, the, as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, 
are changed into the same e image from glory to glory, even as the Spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the benefit of studying the Word of God, it transforms a person, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, from that old being yeah. to a new yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the, what the, the, the Word of God can do uh, to transform a uh, a life of a person. So it's it about transformation. Mm -hmm. yeah? And of course the Bible says again, by beholding, you will you change. Mm -hmm. So the more that we read and mm -hmm. study the Word of God, mm -hmm. the more uh, your life is changed Change. from the Change inside. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And that's an amazing thing. And I know there are other benefits, mm -hmm. you know, uh, still there relating to the Word of God, uh, Zoya. Okay, in uh, Second Timothy, mm -hmm. Timothy chapter 3, verse 14 to 17. Mm -hmm. It reads, But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped, for every good work. Amen. Uh, from that we can, Timothy is trying to tell us that, you know, when we share the word of God, it's not just the uh, written word, eh? it's all inspired by God. Mm -hmm. And not only that, it is, uh, it is there to teach us, mm -hmm. yeah. teach us in yeah. whatever we, uh, the truth that we may be looking for, mm -hmm. the word of God is there. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it is there to um, expose error. Should we come across error or truth? You know, if there's one thing that, one book that we need to go to for, for the error to be exposed, it's the Word of God. Eh? Mm. And not only that, it corrects us. Mm -hmm. mm. Should we need correction? Mm. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Not any human mm. mind or anything yeah. can mm. help us. It's God's Word. Eh? It's the Word of God. And not Praise only that, it also instructs instructs us to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. So that's what Timothy is trying to inform us of. Yeah. What a blessing. Yeah, mm -hmm. amazing. And, and, mm -hmm. and I'm quite sure there's some other additional benefits apart from that uh, uh, Zoe has highlighted in that uh, Second Timothy. Yes, Jesus was talking about his disciples mm -hmm. in John mm -hmm. 17, verse 16, he says, they are not of the world. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. my disciples, yeah. the believers are not of the world. Yeah. Just as I am not of the world. Mm. We are living in the world, but, but we are not to be of the world. Mm -hmm. How can that, that yeah. happen? Yeah. Yeah. Verse 17 says, Sanctify them by your truth, or set them apart yeah. from the world yeah. by your truth. Your Maybe. word is it's truth. So his word will set us apart, yeah. be different yeah. from the world. It, it, it's amazing that all the things that we mm. learn now about mm. the, the word of mm. God, and, and of course, you know, uh, talking about the Word of God, the power of the Word of God, mm -hmm. and the amazing things it can mm -hmm. do to change, uh, you know, mm -hmm. a person. You know, I want to ask uh, yeah. Dan yeah. a question, you know, about any time of difficulty that you have personally faced and how the mm -hmm. Word of God really mm -hmm. proved to strengthen you. And, mm -hmm. and, and, what, and, what, mm -hmm. and what did you learn from that experience? Well, uh, thank you, Mrs. Volvo. I can share a lot, but mm -hmm. I'll just uh, pick one. Yeah. Um, as most of you uh, are aware that I lost uh, two of my granddaughters uh, from drowning. Mm. Uh, that was a very difficult moment. Mm. Um, you know, to lose one is, uh, yeah, is difficult, eh? mm. but to lose two... Mm -mm. Um, I was really, well, I would say I was really mm. crazy. Mm. Mm. Because when uh, even visiting their grave, mm. I would even take lollies. Mm -mm. You know, I know they are lying there sleeping. I know. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. But at that very moment, it was really difficult for me to mm. fathom the fact that, you know, mm. I've lost two. Yeah. Uh, just to backtrack a bit, when they took them to uh, the military hospital, I was, um, I was crying aloud. I was not ashamed of, mm. you know, asking, begging God, mm. you know, to revive them. Mm. Because mm. I believe that God can recreate life and mm. God can just sleep and, you mm. know, uh, and re resurrect them. Yeah. I even asked God, God, please take me. Mm. You know, I want, let's do a barter system sort of <laughs> exchange. Yeah. Uh, take me, bring them back to life. But nothing happened. I was not mad with God. The only th thing that I questioned was my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But, you know, it was uh, a difficult time for the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only thing that brought us peace was 
going back to the Bible, mm-hmm. uh, First Corinthians chapter 15, mm-hmm. talking about the, the assurance of the resurrection. Mm-hmm. Uh, John 14, 1 to 3, mm-hmm. God's gone to, you know, build a mansion, come back and take mm-hmm. us. First uh, Thessalonians 4, 13 to 16, mm-hmm. you know, when the Lord comes back with that mm-hmm. trumpet and angels, yeah. um, those who are asleep mm-hmm. will rise again. I even uh, went into the... Uh, Ellen G. White's uh, books, uh, The Spirit of Prophecy, mm. just forgot the book, but recalling, uh, the, you know, talking about always go visit the, the two kids and tell them, hey, you, Miga, the younger mm-hmm. one, uh, please listen to Ma when uh, mm-hmm. Jesus returns, because mm-hmm. you'll be on, uh, on the cloud and you might fall, up, mm-hmm. fall down. <laughs> and then when I studied the, uh, the Spirit of Prophecy, mm-hmm. and it was amazing what Ellen G. White mentioned, mm-hmm. you know, when the Lord came, opened mm-hmm. the graves and they uh, are resurrected and the angels would come and take them and wing them to their mother. Mm. You know, all those Bible verses mm. brought comfort uh, to us. Yeah. As I said, it was yeah. a, a very difficult moment. Yeah. And we are at peace now. Before yeah. when I was talking about it, uh, crying and everything, but now, yeah. you know, we say, we are only sleeping. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, yeah. me reading the word of God yeah. to, uh, to consume my life, mm. uh, change what they needs to change, hammer out what uh, needs to be hammered out. Uh, so that when the Lord comes, I will be able to meet them. But again, you know, I, I, I just c- cannot understand or cannot fathom the fact that unless the word of God is there, you know, I won't be able to find that peace. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. 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 So, so the assurance. Be, yeah. 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 That's our questions. Yeah. 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 The assurance about the second coming, mm-hmm. you know, it's, uh, it just mm. brought that peace which mm. the world would not be able to provide mm. yeah. because I will go here I can probably go and consume alcohol and all those mm. things but you know so it doesn't bring that peace mm. peace is in here yeah. 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 peace is in here so, so to give us rest eh? yeah. yeah so there's an amazing thing when we study the Bible mm. yeah and some people may thinking oh okay we, we, we do it because you know we have to do it in mm. something kind of procedural but you know, studying the Word of God is about a personal commitment. Mm. Yeah? And, and I'm sure a lot of people <coughs> that daily uh, study the Word of God, they know the comfort and, and the peace uh, they get uh, when studying the Word of God. Not only that, and we've studied the benefit which shows all the things mm. that God can transform in your life. Mm. And particularly going through this uh, period that we're experiencing, mm. We have many job losses. We have uh, trying and difficult times, you know, for the families. Um, if anything that was going to give them comfort at this time is by studying the Word of God. Mm. Yeah? And talking about, you know, the, the benefits of studying the Word of God, not only do we study, how do we apply the Word of God? Mm. You know, applying God's Word is so important. Mm. You know? Uh, if, if someone has studied the the Bible, and it shows there's more than 3,000 promises Mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. You know, we're just going to look at, you know, a few of those Mm -hmm. promises, Mm -hmm. but it brings us comfort, Mm -hmm. and particularly, you know, at what, you know, uh, what people are facing, you know, during crisis Mm -hmm. time. Uh, They may not know what's, you know, what's tomorrow, is going to bring, mm. Uh, mm. but you know we you we can be rest assured mm. with God's promise. Mm. You know, let, let, let's just go in there mm. and just see what are some of those promises mm. that God, mm. you know, uh, provides to us. Mm. Zoya, thank you. From Romans chapter eight, verse two, it reads, "For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and mm-hmm. death." Mm-hmm. Yes. So from our promise. continuous what a promise. exactly. Yeah. So from what, uh, from studying, the continuous studying of the word, you know, it gives you, um, it frees you from mm-hmm. that bondage of sin that mm-hmm. you were in, eh? which yeah. is very powerful. Eh? Yes, mm-hmm. you know. And, and, and tell, tell, what are the promises there? As his divine power, Second Peter mm-hmm. chapter 1, verse 3, as his divine power is given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness mm-hmm. through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly, great and precious promises Mm -hmm. in his word, Mm -hmm. see, that uh, through this you may be partakers of the divine nature. Many. Mm. His great and precious promises 
in the word of God. Mm. It's free from sin, mm. yeah, and yeah. partaking into the, the divine, divine nature. nature. Yes. It no, changes just, us, yes. his promises. That's amazing. But we must trust the yeah. one who promised to us. Amen. It's a promise. Yes, it's a mm. promise. And we have to believe in that lie. promise and have faith in that yes. promise. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think this is important what you just said. Yeah. To apply these mm -hmm. words, these promises to yeah. us, it cannot be applied to us till we have faith or accept it or believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You see the power, the impact of these promises. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then, what other promises are, are, are there? Yeah, Philippians uh, 4, mm -hmm. chapter, uh, chapter 4, mm -hmm. verse uh, 13. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Mm -hmm. And uh, verse 19 as well, it says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in mm -hmm. the glory, in glory by Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, the promises are there. It's a matter of applying it. Mm -hmm. God has said, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I will supply your needs. Mm -hmm. um, you can do all things through me. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of applying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, it takes faith. Yeah. It takes faith. Yeah. But you know, studying studying the, the this week's lesson, it tells us yeah. the power in this word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to experience it yeah. uh, is another level whereby it will only help us to continue to rely on the Word of God, mm. or yeah. rely on Him. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And, and mm. talking about that, you know, promises, a very famous verse, I can do what? All, all things. 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 Mm. Yeah. That's amazing. And that's amazing. It's yeah. all. And sometimes we, we doubt. Mm. Sometimes mm. we are not so sure. Mm. But the promise is there. You can do all mm. things. Taltala, what other promises are there? And I know that's... Rest. You know, I like, uh, that's in Hebrews. Yeah. See, we won't have that rest mm -hmm. if we don't have that faith mm -hmm. or belief mm -hmm. in Hebrews 3, 19. Yeah. So we see they could not enter. This was about the Israelites. Yeah. They couldn't enter the promised land. They mm -hmm. couldn't enter that blessing mm -hmm. because they did not believe the promises. Mm -hmm. Yes. In God's word. Yeah. So it's so important that God's promise is not there to fill in the Bible spaces, That's right. in the mm. books. Yeah. God's promise is there. He gave it for a purpose. Mm. Yes. And we have well, to believe in that. Yes. Yeah? It's not yes. just written to fill in the pages of That's the right. Bible. Yeah. Uh, it's there. And God's promises are for our good. You know? And uh, as we... For our good if we believe. Yeah. And, and I want to ask you, Taltala, yeah. you know, when we believe, yes. what does it take to believe? I would say, see, believe our faith in the word. It just give me rest. Mm -hmm. I know Hebrews is uh, talking about a rest which mm -hmm. is in heaven, mm -hmm. but we can enjoy that rest. rest yeah. See, that just that just give us rest today. Mm -hmm. What I problem the the problems that I face, the challenges I face today, when I believe mm -hmm. those promises, yeah, when I accept them in faith, mm -hmm. just give me the rest. That rest, Neither that peace. It, yeah. yeah. And mm. even though you may be having problems, mm. and even though you may mm. be going through a tough time, mm. yes. but God's it. rest and peace mm -hmm. is present there with you. Mm. And you don't worry, and yes. you don't stress yourself. Right. Yeah. God provides. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And yes. by, by giving us that rest mm. and that peace, it helps us to be comforted. That's right. And be still. That's right. You know? And we, we don't know that I'm God. We trust in God <laughs> yes. and His promise. Yes. And you don't run around in That's circles true. and you want to run here and you run this side, you're running to and fro. But a person that believes in God and His promises, mm -hmm. when they encounter difficulties, mm -hmm. when crises are at hand, mm -hmm. they remain at peace and rest because they know mm -hmm. God will come through. Mm -hmm. yeah? God will come mm -hmm. through. And, uh, you know, that's just looking at and mm. applying the Word of God. Like I mm. said, mm. it's important that you believe in this Word. Because yes. yeah? yes. if you don't, you know, um, this is not for storybook reading. That's right. No. Yeah? That's right. mm. This Bible is something that's else. Right. Mm. Yeah. And then when you learn and then you experience the Word of God, mm. and then you go out and what? Share. Yeah. And share the Word of God. Mm. Yeah? Mm. What happens when you do share the Word mm. of God? Ah, uh, Zoya? Oh, if we... Or, or, or 
probably you know yeah. just talking about the experience that you experienced yeah. with um, with the word of God. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's going to be difficult for people to suppress that urge when you mm. want to share it. Mm -hmm. But that comes with the experience that you have yeah. with God, knowing the, yeah. the, the goodness in following God. And that's yeah. like to read from um, Acts chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And uh, it talks about, um, it talks about uh, Peter and John. Eh? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, they had stood in front of the authorities. People were there. You know, they were so bold. And uh, the authorities looked at them and said, oh, mm. these are unlearned. You know, unlearned uh, people, but they realized that uh, they have been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they were so bold. So they decided, oh, we better stop them from, you know, mm -hmm. uh, preaching about the word of God. So I'll just read from the Acts chapter 4, uh, um, verse 18 mm -hmm. down to 20. And this is what it says. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto, uh, unto God, judge ye. Mm. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Mm. You know, having that experience with the word God, yeah. it's difficult for people, as I said, to suppress, suppress yeah, mm. that urge to share. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a good news. It mm. is a good news. It's a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. want to share that. But you can only share something if you have experienced mm -hmm. it. Yes. Yeah. It's just yeah. like promoting mm -hmm. a yes. product. Yeah. Unless you've uh, the tried, test, it. Uh, yeah. tried it, you won't be able to go boldly and confidently uh, yeah. uh, share it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's an amazing result that happened yeah. because of mm -hmm. that uh, sharing that the, the apostles did. Yeah, they wanted you. And Taltala, what are the you know, experiences that, uh, you know, uh, that was um, outlined? Uh, relating to when we share the word of God. This is what Paul is saying. Mm -hmm. This great preacher. Yes. Yeah. Romans 1 16. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, which mm -hmm. is the word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God mm -hmm. to salvation for everyone yeah. who believes. That's why we need to share. Yeah. Everyone. God mm -hmm. loves everyone. God loves the word. Yeah. And the only way they will experience that love is just by sharing that word. Amen. That word is that power to change them, to Amen. save them. Okay. Yes. So, so uh, what are the vital principles relating to, you know, when you share the word of God? Okay. From Isaiah 50 verse 4, it reads, The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak, mm -hmm. a word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. Mm -hmm. and so we can see a vital principle here is that God um, equips you. Eh? He prepares mm -hmm. you for sharing mm -hmm. the word. Eh? Yeah. He prepares the, the right words mm -hmm. and the right atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So that when you encounter someone who may need that help, you know, he's, he's already well prepared you. Eh? And mm -hmm. like uh, the, the last part of verse 4 says, he awakens me morning by morning. Eh? Mm -hmm. Prepares you in the morning before you go out. So when you encounter, mm -hmm. you, you're well prepared for that uh, situation. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's another uh, uh, um, uh, a text which, uh, you know, talks about the power in, in sharing the word of God. I believe it's found in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Eh, Dan? Yeah. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, it says, mm -hmm. To everything there is a season yeah. and a time to every purpose mm -hmm. under the heaven. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, Again, you were talking about when we are sharing the word of God, mm -hmm. it's not to, 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 to show that we are right. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to expose the God that we serve mm -hmm. by sharing the word of God, uh, his love and so forth. Um, but again, the timing as well is, mm -hmm. um, important. is, is important. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Because, you know, if someone is said mm -hmm. and then you come with an opposite message, mm -hmm. um, I... It's, it's going to be, you know, it's, it, it won't really match uh, the situation. Yeah. Um, I would like to also give an example of one of uh, a young uh, convert. And uh, he came to this person and talked about a very sensitive topic, which, mm. you know, which needs someone to go through step by step before mm. it reaches there. Mm. But he decided to start here, you know. Mm. He got a, mm. a, a, a very uh, <laughs> nasty uh, uh, reaction yeah, mm. from, from the other person because mm. the timing was wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it is important as well it's for us to be yeah. to consider the time. Yeah, mm. I, I think that's an important mm. principle. And Taltala, with our last verse, you know, uh, 
which is you know talked again uh, by yes, Paul to do to the Timothy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Why we need to share the word of God because like there's a warning here mm -hmm. in uh, Second Timothy mm -hmm. four that their own desires because sorry for the time will come mm -hmm. when they will not endure mm -hmm. sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There would be false teachers, false teaching. See? Yeah. This is the truth. This is righteousness. This is instruction. Yeah. This is for our good. Mm -hmm. But the Bible is saying, it's warning us mm -hmm. that uh, time will come that they will not endure some yeah. doctrine. They will heap up for themselves teachers mm -hmm. and they will turn their ears away from the truth yeah. and be turned aside to fables. Mm -hmm. Let us not allow the devil yeah. to bring in darkness. That's why we have to preach the word. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to share the word of God yeah. to help us, to save us. Right. And, and then just, you know, looking at all the things that we talk about, the principles, mm -hmm. and the thing is that, you know, God... Uh, provides and you know equips us when we go out and share the word and of course in terms of also the, the timing and of course the kind of uh, things, uh, things, things that are happening in the, this world and what people mm -hmm. will turn out to be and they do not want to mm -hmm. listen mm -hmm. no longer to the word mm -hmm. of God then as we conclude uh, on that uh, um, uh, uh, mm -hmm. day five of our, our lesson and in terms of sharing of the word what word is the overall um, thing that you could see relating to that. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's important to share the word of God. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, in order for you to share, mm -hmm. you will need to equip yourself. To mm -hmm. keep yourself mm -hmm. uh, knowing the word of God. Yeah. Uh, and when the, uh, the excitement of knowing the word of God mm -hmm. uh, fills you, yeah. you know, it's going to be difficult for, for you to suppress that. Yeah. Uh, if you look at uh, the story of the, uh, the man uh, in, in the in, in the country of Gadarene, mm -hmm. when Jesus came, you know, he was with mm. the, the legion was sort of um, he uh, uh, havoc on his life, mm -hmm. and um, and he wanted to follow Jesus as well. Mm -hmm. He said, "Go to your home mm -hmm. and tell them what the Lord has done to you." Mm -hmm. But when he when the Lord returned, mm -hmm. it was not only his family was there. Mm -hmm. It says that. He went to all the ten cities in Decapolis. Mm -hmm. You know, that was uh, that's the excitement of knowing the word of God. He yeah. not only wanted to share it to his family, but yeah. he went out as yeah. well. Yeah. And also, if you look at the other uh, stories in the Bible as well, when mm -hmm. especially when God heals people and said, mm -hmm. "Don't tell anyone," mm -hmm. eh? most of the thing, "Don't tell anyone." But then, mm -hmm. when you read further, it, they just go out and tell because they just cannot suppress mm -hmm. the urge yeah. of wanting to share the goodness of, of the word of God. Mm -hmm. So you know. Uh, that can only happen if we equip us with the Word of God and yeah. then experience His Word as well. Yeah. Mm. Just your parting your thoughts, you know, for our lesson. When mm. you look at all the each day that we we, we, mm. we study, mm. what are some of the things, key things that you can bring out um, relating to this week's lesson as we wrap up our Sabbath school discussion? Let us be encouraged to keep sharing the Word of God mm. because the Word of God is light. I believe we're living in a time when darkness is creeping in. Mm -hmm. The ideas and the thoughts of men, yeah, our traditions, our culture, but where is the light? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord for direction and the way to go. Praise the Lord for his word. word. Mm -hmm. Zoya, your last thoughts. Thank you. Uh, just from the lesson this week, I've uh, personally, mm -hmm. it's uh, something that uh, I could say for a young person, eh, we mm -hmm. neglect. Yeah. The, the power of the word eh, when mm -hmm. we share it. Eh? Sometimes we just share it for the sake of, of sharing it. Mm -hmm. We do not realize that the power it has that it can change us. Eh? Mm -hmm. We're always looking for change as a young mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. and, but yes. we don't realize that it's there. The power yeah. is there. Yes. And we don't have that faith and it's belief. It's the power of God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your last uh, parting thoughts uh, yeah. uh, relating to our lesson this week? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, um, realizing that there is power in the word mm -hmm. and it will not return void. Yeah. So, you know, that should not discourage mm. us from sharing mm. the word of God. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And you also, fruits. that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, there is a purpose uh, relating to, you know, the sharing of the, the word of God. And I have to conclude with our key text, which is mm. taken from Isaiah, mm. you know, chapter 55, verse 11, which yeah. say, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I had sent. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah? The word of God will not uh, go empty. Mm. Yeah. It will go, it will do its purpose mm. yes. according to God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah? And we're just uh, so thankful uh, about the opportunity Amen. to have uh, the Bible with us. Mm. Yes. You know, that is a light, mm. you know, it is a fire, fire hammer. a hammer, mm. a seed, bread. And, and a bread. Praise and we the praise Lord. God. Mm. And praise as we... Uh, conclude our lesson discussion this uh, Sabbath. The, the Sabbath uh, we just uh, praise God Amen. and thank God for his leading and uh, provision mm. Mm. and I want to take this time and to thank you all our Amen. panelists this morning mm. for this wonderful uh, Sabbath discussion Okay. Let's just uh, conclude our Sabbath school discussion with a word of prayer. Mm. Lord our gracious and uh, merciful Father we Amen. want to thank you Yes. Uh, for all that you have taught us this mm. week uh, relating to the sharing of your word. Mm. We are so thankful about the power in your word yes. and what it can do to us mm. and what we can, it can do to others when we yes. share the word of God. Thank you so much mm. for your promises. Mm. Uh, we ask, Lord, that you please help our unbelief mm. and take away our doubt mm. that we learn to trust you more mm. and believe in your promise. Yes. We pray uh, and ask all this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.